minimize how much you talk about your until your mom's at your show. Mom, what did you think of the show? We just crossed into New York State. We have a bunch of shows in New York. We'll be in Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, Albany, and uh, Westchester. We're in two Chesters. What's the first Chester? Uh, what, uh, Rochester. Can you tell people what happened when you went into the kitchen last night uh, in Cleveland? Call it, somebody made a Luigi reference. I was wearing a green shirt. You uh -huh. really, it, I think, contextually had to be there. Well, I think so, maybe, but you were. Otherwise, I'm just a guy in a mustache. But it's a guy in a mustache with his green shirt, and, and, and Nick walked by, and the guy goes, Hello, I'm Luigi. <laughs> I think it's funny. Um, yeah, so anyway, a bunch of shows in New York, um, including home. I'll go home to Syracuse. Uh, I'll be there for a few days. So thus begins our trip through the Empire State. Another day, another green room uh, in an office. I am in, uh, in Buffalo at Flying Bison. Let's go see what's happening on stage. Uh, I'm changing this shirt. That's better, okay. <laughs> Great, great turnout. We just did the VIP and it was uh, a lot of fun. I'm grabbing my cheat sheet from last night. Cleveland, <laughs> that's fine. It's a new hour. I got notes. It is understandable. All right, great crowd. I'm excited. The VIP was a lot of fun. Let's tear it up. Let's tear it up in the show. Cousy. We got to mom's house last night. Mom, I'm making a vlog. Do you know what that is? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, good. I've heard of one. <laughs> Before. <laughs> most of the hotels we stay in have breakfast and most of the hotels offer breakfast until nine. So it is very rare that we get down to breakfast considering that we end the shows at about, yeah, we leave probably at 10 or 11. So we got here to Syracuse to my childhood home at about 1.30 and then are all slowly waking up and mom's making breakfast for everybody. Um, so breakfast here is open until 11.30. Just made it. Just made it. Hey! Uh, what? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate it. <laughs> Cheers. So last night in Buffalo, we had what is probably the worst front row we've ever had at a brewery. Which is nice, because I had a friend, a uh, childhood friend there as well. Man, uh, mom, man, Mike Carberry came. Yeah, I haven't seen him for 32 years. Oh, that's great. Do you think it was the worst, Nick? Front row? Front row. Yeah. Right from the get-go. Right from the VIP. And, and sometimes they're a little bit more vocal during the VIP experience and they settle down. But these ones just, they use it as a license to, uh, they, they think the show's just for them. They forget that there's hundreds of people behind them and, and they think the show's just for them and have little comments and they think they're funny. And anyway... We powered through it, but to everyone that was behind them, it wasn't great. But again, the worst in 249 shows. So tonight we go to Rochester and we do, do show 250, which can't be any worse. <laughs> you never say that, you never say that. We just got done with the show here in Rochester. Nick, this is show number 250 for us. Woohoo! Too many. Last year here in Rochester, Ray was at the show. He was going to Iceland, asked me where he should go. And I told him and you did it. So this is a shot of fermented shark and Brennavin, a shot called the Black Death. If you're you, glad you did it, you didn't I'm, like doing it. Exact excuse. words, what you said it tasted like. It, you're, you're gonna hear it. Well, you might not hear it, but so, taste, tastes like ass is what he said. Like, so we are gonna go, go to Marshall Street Grill. That is a tradition. I do a show in Rochester. We have something called the garbage plate. The garbage plate. It's something that people in Rochester enjoy. If you don't know what it is, you'll see it in a second. If you eat it, you put it in your mouth. All right, we are heading back to Syracuse. We have about an uh, hour and a half drive. Yeah, but 44 Marshall Street Bar and Grill. Dude. Wait, why did you say 44? 44. You just say Marshall Street Bar and Grill. <laughs> Take two. All right, so we're heading back to Syracuse. It's about an hour and a half drive. Yeah, but the Marshall Street Bar and Grill. 
It's the garbage plate. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We did it last time. Okay, Trent, let's do it. Just one. Uh, one garbage plate. Acting. If you've never been to Rochester, even if you have been here, you might not know that they have the garbage plate, but they have the garbage plate. And uh, it's very fitting. It is, it is very fitting of the name. It is, it is like French fries and uh, macaroni salad and a hot dog and a hamburger and cheese and just like whatever. So anyway, we're, we're on our way there. This is Don. He's the proprietor of this here establishment. I would like to order a garbage. I would like that. Thank you. Thank you. Let's talk about this because I did a show in Buffalo that was out of control. Buffalo sounds like be low and below. Okay. And so we did a show here, albeit it was a Sunday night in Rochester and the crowd was fantastic. We have had 10 shows and we have had nine amazing crowds. And then we had Buffalo, which by the way, I want to say, it was the front row, which was the problem. The rest of the crowd, many other rows were fantastic. And I just, as the as the host, as a comedian, mm -hmm. I want everyone to have a good time. Yeah. Rochester was better than Buffalo. Well, obviously. Oh, sorry, so, sorry. Let's be Is honest, that obvious? Man. Is it obviously? Obviously. Okay, how about this? Rochester is better than uh, Buffalo at football. Um, yeah. How? Um, the Bills haven't won a title. We haven't either, and we don't even have a team. That's it. That's it. Tie. Cheers, brother. There it is. This is the garbage plate. Uh, what is on this, sir? Uh, this particular one, I believe, has a hamburger and hot dog and onion. Hamburger, hot dog, onion, uh, macaroni well, salad. Macaroni salad, waffle fries, queso, okay. and uh, meat hot. Beautiful. Everything a growing body needs. There they blow. The more you eat, the more you hate yourself. We love you, Rochester. <laughs> It doesn't take a garbage plate for me to hate myself. Why are you hating your face? It's so gross. How do you feel about yourself? Any better than when you started? I'm not even. Awesome. What did you do? You, you killed it? Sure. You didn't even you son of a bitch. If people look at you and look at me and they say, who do you think finished their garbage plate? They would not think that it was me. I'm a Without Nick, thank God. I'll say you don't have to say. It. <laughs> That's a nice break. You don't have to say. It. <laughs> I was being sarcastic. You're being real. So we are in Syracuse, and we are headed to Buried Acorn Brewing. Nick had some uh, stand-up stuff to go to do back in LA, so he went back to LA for a week. Well, he'll he'll catch up with us in a few days. Last year, I celebrated my 50th birthday with a sold-out show here. Another one here this year. I'm a year older. Another huge uh, crowd tonight in Syracuse and my hometown. It's just funny. What, what did my mom say to somebody? To one of her friends, she said, you know, because they're all like in their late 70s. She's like, just come with an open mind. You know, like, my son talks about his a lot. <laughs> 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 Something, you know Oh, that's I mean? right. Nick was going to have to... Yeah, a setback. She a said, bit. "Is Nick gonna do the same stuff?" I'm like, "No, he's kind. He's not really doing the, you know." There was some. There was a bit that Nick did where he's like, "Anybody into kinky stuff?" And someone will be like, "Woo!" And he's like, "What are you into?" And it's like the person's like, "Whoa, I just wooed. I didn't necessarily want to talk about it, you know." And I think that the person that wooed was like a local politician last year, like this woman. Yeah. And my my mom was embarrassed, but hey, it's comedy. So anyway, everyone's coming back, and it's gonna be a fun show. So next stop, Baird Acorn. In the rain, as in Syracuse, you have it no other way. So I brought the rain with me from California. What is it? What's happening? Did you get a tattoo? Uh, yeah, that's uh, Pleakleus. That is a fake tattoo, but you still get 50% off in my store. Yeah, and then what's know. that He's, one? He said it was OEM. Okay. Um, that's that's uh, that's me? Zane. Me? That's that's awesome. Yeah, all you got to do is get a Pleakleus tattoo, and you get half off Pleak merch for life. I don't. We don't ever say that the fact it needs to be permanent. But, it, but, but when you draw it out with a sharpie, is it really a tattoo? 
It'll last 24 hours. It'll last, yeah. That's then that's how long you get, you get half off. Of course, I had to come in and mix things up. The stage was back there. I thought this would be a much cooler backdrop. So we're moving everything. We have time and a lot of people. Um, and again, stage, as per Seamus Dever, it is a three-quarter thrust. I might have remembered that wrong, but I think that's what it is. So this is a collaboration beer that we had last year. Oh God, we get, we get Trent eating in, in, in the video as well. So this is when I turned 50, there was a big party here, big show, and this was the, the beer designed for it, and it was so good that we did it again. F yeah. Mel calls it Zane Brain. That is uh, when Zane forgets things, like the memory cards for the cameras to record the show at home. So I just came back to my mom's house, and now I'm going back to the brewery, even though I was there already. Because Nick isn't here, I am running the merch table. Uh, Trent is running the fleet table, but I'm running merch. And Nick would kill me if he saw the mess. Look at this. Nick would kill me. Nick, I'm so sorry that I'm not sorry about the state of your table. And look at Trent's. That's why I'm not allowed to work this table. We had a good time here in Syracuse. That was a fun show. I don't know if I'm gonna put it up online, but like you don't realize how edgy your material is until you say it in front of your mom. So my mom, of course, was in the front row. I'll put some clips up and we'll see, but you don't realize how much you talk about your until your mom's at your show. Oh God, what have I done? Mom, what did you think of the show? I thought it was the best show on earth. <laughs> How embarrassed were you? None, I just know you. <laughs> so embarrassed. Kiki, uh, what did you think of the show? I loved it. Now, I have to point out, my Aunt Kiki was the thespian of the family. She has the acting gene, and so you are the one who I followed and modeled my career after. Amy, what did you think of the show? It was okay. This is part of my blog. You have to tell people what was amazing. I loved it. It was really funny. Was it better than Taco Bell? <laughs> too, too soon. What do I look like with my glasses? I look like Frank Zappa. Um, we're heading to Indian Ladder Farms in Altamont, New York, which is uh, basically just outside of Albany. Two hour drive from my mom's house where we're staying to the, is it a cidery or is it a brewery? It's both. Oh, okay. It makes beer and cider. And, uh, and then we're gonna do the show and then I'm gonna get my drink on and Trent is not and he's gonna drive home and I'm gonna yap the whole way. And one of the things that is cool about this place is that it, it is a working farm. I don't know if it's a working farm, by the way. It has animals, but I don't know what they provide. But there's a lot of animals, which uh, makes me very happy. So in a minute, we'll get to see them. I'm gonna show you some farm animals, besides this one. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm on the, what's the name of this podcast again? Obviously I know, but just for people at home. Agricultural Acts. It was, what's the second word? Acts. As in? A-C-T-S. Oh, Acts. Yeah. Okay. I not correctly? No, it just could have been X or oh, Acts right. or Acts. Yeah. Okay. okay. Agricultural Acts. A-C-T-S. Yes. So I'm on this podcast right now. And I'm sorry, I interrupted what you were saying. <laughs> um, I, you know, as somebody with the background on the production side, I really kind of geek out at what goes into putting on a show. Okay. And the, the minutia of all of that, which most people don't ever, they see the finished product on TV or hear it edited on the radio, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. um, and in Zane's world, which, which you're on right now. It's weird Zane's to be world. listening because yeah. yeah. I'm, reco I'm recording it, so yes. Well, I love how you did kind of the, the process leading up to your last special on Amazon Prime. Oh yeah. And uh, Tender Looks. Yeah. In case anybody's wondering, they wanna watch it tonight. So I just did Agricultural Acts, which you can find A-C-T-S. I thought it was agricultural axe. I thought they were gonna have axes and we'd be we're cutting trees. That didn't happen. We did, we chopped some it's a metaphorical wood. No, that's actually not true. Well, Dieter might have chopped some wood. He did chop some wood. He sat about that all the time. So, ha not. had fun. You did. We had, we had a lot of fun. Now I'm going to go out and see the animals. I'm going to leave these animals <laughs> and go see the animals outside. So here we go, Zane. Okay. These lovely hens. Do you want to get in here? What are you going to do? Steal her eggs? Yeah, let's steal her eggs. Get, get, yeah, get me an egg. <laughs> get me an egg. Give me an egg, bro. Get me an egg. All right. Get me an egg. Sorry, Mama. 
Now let's yell. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say as I blame her. Yeah, right? It's like, go put you back in there. <laughs> we got one let's more over see. here. She's laid today. Ta da! Wow. <laughs> That's truly fresh egg. It's like, yeah, it's, it's warm. warm. That's awesome. <laughs> what do you like? So she has an egg, and I'll just go in the back here. And just grab it. Okay. Ow! Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. This is what I'm going home with. That is fantastic. The freshest eggs I'll ever have. Thank you. I love coming to this place. This is about two hours from my mom's house. And I'm just, rather than going from here to Vermont, which I'll have a show there in two days, I'm just going back to my mom's with Trent and we'll hang out there on uh, Father's Day, Sunday and Monday. And then on Tuesday, head to Vermont. But I love coming here because of, honestly, the animals <laughs> and the farm. I love, I love everybody here, but it's just a fun, uh, it's just fun. Look at, I'm, I'm in the middle of the country. This is the venue over there. That place is like very, very cool. Very cool venue. If you're gonna get married in this area, you should do it there. It is literally showtime. So I'm gonna walk right from here onto the stage. All right, that concludes the New York shows for now. For now, Trent, are you ready to go? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is Limestone Creek, and I grew up near here, and I would pretty much spend every day down at the creek for some reason. Trent is looking for crayfish. It's, it's kind of a little bit removed from the neighborhood, but I would come down here to look for crayfish. Uh, tube in the, in, in the creek when the water was high enough, which it is right now. And then there's a golf course on the other side, so we would look for golf balls. I did it as a kid when I first moved here and I always do it. And so now I've uh, roped Trent in, but I don't feel like I've roped you anymore. I think oh, now you're, you're fixated so on trying to find a crayfish. <laughs> so to tie this story up, Sean from Baird Acorn, where I performed a few days ago, lives right there. So we're walking along the creek looking for golf balls now. And what's weird is that you know that you knew that it was us and you walked up to us and you don't have any beer in your hand. It's we I don't recognize you. And then he's like, he's like, oh, hey, nice. Completely not planned. I had no idea he lives along this uh, this creek that has forded our golf golf ball hunting, of which I have eight and Trent has zero. <laughs> Let's see. Show me your tattoos. Here, that does not look permanent, but I recognize them. <laughs> no, what, what is it? Uh, Faded glory? Is that? Is That's that what well. It is? That, that describes my my career. Oh, isn't that? Oh, it's a recording. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. That describes my uh, my career. Thank you. <laughs> Now you understand why I'm not leaving here. <laughs> so this is how quickly plans can change. <laughs> we're, like, we're now here. We were down there in the creek having a good time because we didn't know that there was beer and friends up here and cats. <laughs> $10, 20 30 40 50 60 70 dollars worth of beer right there <laughs> I was given this bottle by Jim Cook the owner of Sam Adams and Steve McKenna broke it because he's Steve McKenna because he's Steve McKenna exactly right <laughs> <laughs> to uh, the creek bringing people together the yeah. creek and beer sure. thank you guys so much very nice sure. to meet you thank yeah, you so much, much. So that's what wow. $18 tastes like. By the way, that's just that's just the first sip. Update, <laughs> we, we spent two hours uh, at their house drinking beer, playing with the cats, tell, telling stories. It's, I had no idea that Sean lived in my mom's neighborhood. And Trent, I have at this point, I'm gonna show you something. I have uh, four balls in that, one, two, three, yeah, in that pocket, a lot of cat hair on me. And then, and Sean gave me a shirt because he felt bad and I guess because of my body. And then I have four balls in that pocket and Trent has not found one. Back to the mission. Who else might have um, beer in their house? Okay, right by your foot. Okay, right, so <laughs> it's cold. Okay, okay, so 
It's right. Hey, what are you doing? I'm looking down. Well, look at me. It's this way. It's 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 three feet in front of you. Yep, yeah, right there, and right in that direction. It's behind a rock. You can't really see it. It's coal. Power through it. Yeah, it's right, it's right in front of you. Do you see it? Right down. Right underneath you. Oh, now we made it all cloudy. Yep, yeah, right there. I wish there wasn't actually a ball there. Okay, right there. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. Hold on. I'm going to help you. Hold on one second. Nine. Okay. <laughs> Pretty cool, buddy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the f*** is happening? <laughs> one baby one <laughs> nice job Here, here's the golf course by the way that as a kid we felt like we were breaking the rules by being here but now as an adult i challenge someone to tell me to get off the course because i will fight them because i've had utopias and i'm feeling it Ugh, i have 11 and trent has one and i feel bad two. you have two now yeah man wow good for you buddy two legitimate ones Okay. <laughs> All right, and there's one more right there. <laughs> you got the deepest one. <laughs> that counts as two. That counts as fine, okay. Are you serious? You just found like 15 in one spot? It's four more. And there's more down there? No, I think that's it. Wow. There you go. This is like, uh, I think an old mill or something. That's crazy. And then the golf course is right there. The green and then where people slice. <laughs> Final booty, 38 balls. 38 balls. Oh, okay. Uh, more than, more than 38. Okay, perfect. That's a lot. That was in our pockets. Mm -hmm.